Hello everyone, welcome to Iggy's Cooking Show. And today, well, I mean, recently I saw this trend going around of pancake cereal, so I decided I'll show you guys how to make this. But because when I went in the freezer earlier, I realized we're all out of pancake mix. So we're gonna be making our own today. So this is the first time I've made homemade pancake mix, but let me show you the ingredients and everything we'll need. So I already have everything pre-measured, but let's go over what you'll need. You'll need one cup of all-purpose flour, uh, two tablespoons of sugar, which is that, two teaspoons of baking powder, which is right there, not baking soda, but baking powder. Then you're going to need half a teaspoon of salt, which is in there, one cup of milk, make sure it's room temperature, and then two teaspoons, no, two tablespoons of vegetable oil an egg, and a bowl, a spatula. You don't need a stand mixer, but I'm personally gonna use one. Make sure you have a whisk, um, and then a funnel, and one of these bottles. So let's get to cooking. First, we're gonna need a sifter. Grab your one cup of flour and put it in. Make sure you get all the flour out of the cup. Then, you're gonna wanna turn your stand mixer on. Not too fast. Open it up to make sure the flour gets sifted in. You can push it down if you need to. Then you're also going to add your baking powder. Make sure that it's sifted in too. The main reason you're going to want to use a sifter in this recipe is because if you don't, you'll have all these lumps stuck in there. And you don't want that in your pancake mix. So once you have the uh, dry ingredients sifted in, you're also going to want to add your sugar and your salt. And then turn on your stand mixer and then let it mix. And let all the dry ingredients mix for a little bit. So for your next step, you're going to want to, uh, first of all, get your, make sure your mixer is all dried off. You can take it off too to help. Then, we're going to take the dry ingredients and we're going to put them in a separate bowl so we can put them aside. Alright, so make sure your bowl is clean. Next step. Now for the next step. You're gonna, in this, in your stand mixer bowl, you're gonna whisk together your milk. Make sure all your milk gets in there. And then your egg. Smells good. Then your oil. And then uh, now that we have our wet ingredients in, you're gonna want to whisk them together just slightly. That's good. So now you don't want to make a mess, so. Let your whisk attachment drip for a little bit, and then we're going to add the dry ingredients. Close it up. Whisk it for a little while. You're going to want to stop every once in a while. And then you're going to take your rubber spatula, and you're going to want to move down any flour from the sides. So help it all get mixed in. You don't want to whisk it too much. A few small lumps are fine. Alright, now 
we're gonna let it whisk for about 30 more seconds. All right, that's good. All right. Ugh. So now you're gonna wanna make sure this big clump here, you make sure this is whisked in. We're gonna try and get that off the spatula. So that's pretty much it for the pancake mix. So now we're gonna take our bottle and unscrew the lid. All right, now that's all whisked, Make sure you take your bowl with your pancake mix and use a wide mouth funnel so it'll get in the bottle. You don't want it, oh, whoops. So hold it firmly and you're gonna wanna pour your mix in the bottle. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep an eye on it because you don't want it to get too full. Like my bottle is almost full so we're gonna put a little bit in it. And almost done. Make sure you get all that little goopy bits out and done. All right. Now our pancake mix is done. But now before we start cooking, let's take a quick commercial break. Do I really have to say it? Uh, all right, fine. Hi, hi, I'm Peppy Pepperoni. Are you interested in a Long John's pizza? We have a large Long John's pizza for only $9.95. $9.95? Well, that's a steal. Who are you? $9.95? That's a lifesaver. Okay, wait a minute. No one told me $9 that. $9.95? That's banana. Is that a gorilla? Wait, I'm going to have to round these deals before they go okay, away. Wait, I think we should have gone with a theme. Football. Okay, you didn't even try. Cookie. Oh, no. no, 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 I'm, I'm done. Alrighty, back from commercial. Now, we finished our homemade, mi home homemade mix, and then, now we're gonna start cooking the cereal. So let's see the things you'll need for this. So, you're going to need your mix, some non-stick cooking spray, a spatula, and a large bowl, and of course, your pan. First, turn on your stove, get your cooking spray, and grease up your pan. I mean, skillet. I'm gonna add a little bit more, just because I don't want it to stick. That should be good. Alright, so now, you have your pan all greased up, and we're gonna take our batter. Now, I've never done this part before. You're gonna wanna make little dots. Make sure they're spaced apart evenly, because you don't want them to stick together. Again, this is my first time doing this, so it's probably not going to look the prettiest or the best, but still, it still should be good. You're going to you're gonna want all over your pan. That should be good. Now we're gonna let them cook for, I mean, slightly cook. When they're cooking, you can see it sizzle from the grease. That, that you wanna make sure it's doing that because it won't stick if it's doing that. All right, they look almost done. So, when the last pancake you put down, the bubbles stop forming on the top. You'll know when they're ready. So when you're ready, take your spatula and you're going to want to flip them around. They're going to probably need to cook a little bit longer. So we'll let them cook for a little bit. So I flipped my, this first batch a little too early so they were still sticky. but. So you're going to want to leave them cooking a little bit longer, but I still think these look pretty good. So we're going to let them cook for a little bit. They're almost done. Alright, so when they're done, make sure you have your bowl over here, so you can put them in. And what you're going to do, make sure you scoop them in the bowl. Right, 
Now, that's just one batch. Feel free to do as many as you want. I'm personally going to do it until this bottle's full, so we're going to do a time lapse of that. All right, now our cereal's done. Doesn't look like, it doesn't look the best, but it's my first time making it. But they do, they do smell pretty good. Now you can end here, but don't forget, we need toppings. Okay, so I'm going to be using whipped cream, butter, and syrup for my toppings. That's good. Ugh, the syrup. Put it on there. Yeah, a little slice. Might be too much. We put the knife in the dishwasher. And last but not least, the whipped cream. That might be a little too much. But now you're going to want to stir it up so it all gets mixed around. And there we go. Alrighty, so here's the finished meal. Looks pretty good. Unfortunately, for the taste test, we weren't able to get someone in today, so I'm gonna be doing the taste test. Let's get a little piece. This looks good. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Definitely tastes better than it would if I used store-bought uh, mix. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for this episode of Cooking with Chef E. See you next time.